Hi everyone! I'm hoping I'm in the right place and I'm the right way. <laughs> I will bring it up on my iPad and hopefully it's all good. I'm just going to have the iPad the way I'm not used to having it so I can see comments. Hi Vicky, how are you? So, something really exciting. The new catalogue is live and I'm so excited and I've just got a minute because, you know, the partner's at work, the kid's at school and I thought, you know what, I'm going to pop on and I'm going to share my excitement with you all. I've got the hugest pile of craft stuff on my desk. Hi, how are you doing, Vicky? Um, what is going on here? So this is the brand new catalogue that is live. I'm so excited. Um, for those that requested one or that have shopped through me or on my um, list, you would have received one in the mail. If you haven't and you'd like one and live in Australia, let me know and I can post one of these beauties out to you because they're gorgeous. Hi Chrissy, hi Sherry, how are you? I am, you know, I haven't done a live crafting video in so long and I am going to create with you live today. So who's excited? I'm going to wing it. Well, I'm not winging it, I have made the card. So um, I'm going to share some live crafting with you today and I haven't done it in what in it feels like forever. But I have some time off work at the moment, so I thought, you know, I need to get crafty and share with you um, what I've been doing. I've actually made a lot of cards, and um, it's been nice to have some time to sit down and craft. I'm not doing a face. Um, you can't see my face today because my actual camera stand's broken, and I've ordered a new piece for it, and it hasn't come yet. So it feel it, it's stable enough to film downwards, but not facing me. And I'm sure you'd rather see the craft stuff anyway, let's face it. So this is the brand new catalogue that is now available to order from. And we actually have three current catalogues. And I did want to mention that because quite often when a new one comes out, we forget about the old ones and we don't want to forget about them either. So these are our three current catalogues. We have our annual catalogue, our holiday catalogue and our beginner brochure, experience creativity brochure, which has got some products in it that aren't available in the other catalogues. So... You can shop from any of these three catalogues. Um, you can do that in person. You can send me your order or you can shop online. I put my link up in the description of the video. Um, I can share my link in the comments too, um, which goes to my store. So you can shop and I actually have a deal on if you spend over 50 and use the host code, which I'll show you in a minute, um, you can get a packet of our brand new black Stampin Dimensionals free, which is really cool. And they're worth $10.50. So um, really, really cool. And I am actually going to use those um, black dimensionals with you today because you're going to see why you need them. So this is the host code C44RZ7HG. And that's for the month of September 2019, in case you're watching this video back later on. And um, yeah, you'll get a packet of black dimensionals and a little card from me to say thank you for ordering. So I would love your business. And why wouldn't you want to shop from this gorgeous catalogue? So let, I can now share the inside of it. It's just stunning. Um, there's lots of amazing products. In the front, they've got a bundle index. So this shows, hi, hi Kylie and Kylie. So the two Kylies are on my team. They're lovely, lovely ladies. They both live in Melbourne, so. I love having te um, team members from all over Australia on my team. I love them to bits. They're awesome. Um, so the, here's another page full of bundles. And then we go into our suites. So we've got, I'm just going to like quickly browse through this. I'm not going to go into too much detail. But this is the Toil Tiding Suite. Lots of gorgeous products. I love these glitter enamel dots. I've actually got a packet here. As you can see, I've been well and truly using them. They're so sparkly and gorgeous. Um, stunning stunning and there's some stamp sets stamping up and now showing the designer paper in a lot bigger view so you can see it a bit better I just got this stamp set this week the wreath and there's a reason too I'll show you in a second um, and this is going to be popular I think and we are using the stamp set and not the dies we're using the stamp set for a greeting today um, it's a more expensive set because the, you get a lot of dies like um might have them in front of me let's have a look there's actually like two whole sheets these dies are amazing so i store mine on magnet sheets because i find it a lot easier but you get all these stitched actually double stitched stars in lots of different sizes plus you get all these so there's a lot of dies in this bundle which is why it has a higher price point but that's why it's good to either join stampin up join my team and get your 20 percent discount so you don't have to pay the full price 
or host an online workshop or an in-person workshop with me. If it reaches $250 or more, you get stamping rewards to spend, which you can put towards that. Or if it goes, if it's quite a large party and it goes above $750, um, you can get a half price item, which is how I bought it. So it actually only cost me um, about just under $50 rather than $100. Um, the wrapped in plaid suite. Um, really, really gorgeous. These jingle bells are like my diehard favourites. And you'll see when I show you some cards I've made in a second, I've been using them lots. That's how many I've got left, like seriously. And there was, how many in the packet? 24. So I do love the jingle bells. They are a favourite of mine. Um, oh, and these pretty gold pizza boxes. Aren't they pretty? They're so shiny. And I had someone message me, oh, it's a bit wet. I've got my diffuser going and I've got some essential oil called Motivate. So I'm feeling motivated today. Um, someone sent me a message about whether doTERRA oils fit in them and they actually do. And they fit really well. You can fit three of the larger size doTERRA bottles. So it would make a really cute gift if you're into giving essential oils. I just thought that was a fantastic idea. Um, stamp set. We've got another bundle this one's a really cool one this is itty bitty christmas so you get lots of different sentiments there's some layering dies this is a new favorite of mine which is our um, new metallic inks and i'm going to use these today as well so we have copper silver and gold and i use them in a different way than what you'd think so i will share that today and you can also buy the reinkers which i've also used in a different way so i'm going to show you that today as well um, our beautiful snowman suite, one of my other favourites and one of the first things I purchased from the catalogue. Really, really cute. Even though we don't have snowy Christmas here in Australia, I just couldn't, couldn't get past it. The little elves, they're so cute. I made some cards with those, so I'll show you those soon. And the gingerbread house. This one my team member and good friend Jody got. Hi Kayla, how are you? How's the new bub? A Kayla joined Kayla's live. Um, did you get your catalogue okay? Um, I remember those new mummy times. You get you get a minute here and there to read a catalogue, but um, sometimes it can be a bit hectic. Um, I love the penguins, and I love the penguins for the sentiments. They are just stunning. I bought two stamp sets out of this catalogue, and the reason why... I, I love the stamps, don't get me wrong, but was the sentiments that got me, and the penguins was one of them. Um, the Night Before Christmas Suite... Jody was here crafting with me yesterday and I'm a little bit obsessed with the Santa. So I actually cased this card, which I'll show you. Um, and this has the memories and more, which is really good for quick and simple and easy cards. This Santa here I'm obsessed with and you'll see in a minute. I've done two cards. I didn't get the moose because the moose isn't really me. Um, I think it's a very Canadian, um, would be good for Canadians, but a lot of people do like the, um, the moosey moose. So each to their own. Um, I don't think I have any of these, but I do love the these um, border dies. They're really, really cute. This one is gorgeous, and I do have an event on the weekend, my catalogue launch, where we will be um, focusing a bit on this one, and I'll show you an up close soon. I love this um, whole stamp set, but I love this Merry Christmas here. I think I'm really big on sentiments this year. It seems to be the sentiments that are grabbing me. Now, this one's a hidden one, and I think you'd miss it if you didn't look. But it's the um, designer acetate. And I actually haven't had a great... I haven't played a play with it yet. Um, but I also haven't had a good look at it either. Um, this was one of the first ones I got, which is a bundle with a reversible stamp, which is brand new to Stampin' Up. And I also got these um, gorgeous masks, which I also haven't had a play with yet. Hopefully, maybe today. Another beautiful um, sentiment set. Some great kits. These are great um, for events or if you're new to crafting because these come... Um, I can put orders in whenever you like, Kayla. So um, you can send me an order. I can send you the link to order from home so it comes directly to you. Um, but otherwise, send me a message whenever because I think you actually live only around the corner from me. Um, so, yeah, whenever you want something, I can put it in. No drama at all. I'd be happy to help. And you can get um, – I, I don't know if you saw the start of the video, but I have uh, – if you spend $50 or over – and use this host code. Um, the, if you have trouble with that, let me know and I can send you a picture of how to do it. But um, you get a packet of black dimensionals free, which were $10.50. So that's my September special. So we have two kits in this catalog. There's a tag kit um, and it comes with everything you need. And there's also this awesome countdown kit, which I'll show you because I've done both the kits. And this is gonna be really, really super fun. 
and so versatile like I've seen lots of people post different things with this kit and you don't have to do it a Christmas kit like you could do a countdown to your birthday for a child or even yourself like let's face it um, and you could do countdown to Easter there was one that I liked and I can't remember what the theme was it was really cute but I actually want to do this as a 30 days of self-care so I want to have like a little because I I work in a somewhat stressful job and self-care is very important regardless of where you work and what you do so I really want to have a challenge to myself to order another one of these but make it a self-care based thing and I've got to do get something out and maybe have a challenge to myself in each box or I'm going to do something it's in my head I just need to work out what I'm doing but there is a coordinating stamp set um the countdown kit Kayla the countdown kit's $52 and that comes with everything you need you can buy the additional stamp set for 37 but you don't absolutely need that you could make it without the stamp set the tag kit comes with the stamp set and the ink and everything you need and that makes 30 tags I think yep and that one's 61 then um, oh that's very true Kylie it would be an awesome thing to do as a family and I totally agree I I would have done that but my five-year-old I feel like I wanted to have it on display so I might get an order in a separate one so that we can do a non-display <laughs> for events one um, this is a gorgeous medley we had a medley recently called everything is rosy but um, that was like a one month only promotion. This one's actually going to be valid for the whole catalog. So till January the 3rd, I think this catalog goes to. No, the 2nd of January. Um, and so this one is gorgeous. It comes with a stick. Yeah, buy the whole thing as like a kit. It comes with a stamp set, dies, paper, card fronts, ribbon, little um, star embellishments. They're really cute. And it comes with uh, heaps of stickers. It's really, really cool. So you have... You could order this if you don't have a huge craft stash and you want to create some things order that and you've got enough maybe grab some adhesive and some coordinating card stock for your card fronts and you're set to go you've got everything there to create you don't have to go and um, figure out what you need to buy so stampin up and the thing i always love most about stampin up is they're awesome with coordination so you only need um, a few things from a suite or whatever and you've got everything you need to create like it doesn't it's not you don't have to go spend thousands of dollars it's really really good um, feels like frost um, I love the designer series paper and the ribbon and we've got this beautiful shimmery crystals effects which is comes in a little pen like this and it's really glittery I've used this on my Santas which I'll show you in a minute and oh goodness me um, the ice stamping glitter is like a thicker um, glitter really good for shaker cards or our snow domes which I'll show you in a minute as well oh my goodness that crystal pen does not want to stay on the shelf um, our snow globes oh these are to die for and you can do so much more than Christmas we've got our snow domes um, and our snowflake sequins and the bundle lots you can do with that and I've already made one this wasn't up my alley, but I'm sure there's some beautiful things you can do. Now, I need to check my stash because I'm not sure if I've bought this one or not. But if I haven't, I need it because it's beautiful and it really coordinates well with our waterfront set that we've got in the annual catalogue. Um, this is stunning paper in this suite. This has come together, which is kind of like a Thanksgiving type autumn suite. But the paper is really, really beautiful. Um, I'll show you in a mini. There's some beautiful embellishments in this one too. These are like wooden feathers which I used one yesterday and there's some like tree rounds which could be um, really beautiful as tags or ornaments or all sorts of things that would be beautiful um, so I got those I love the smell of wood um, and there's some beautiful ribbon in that suite now here's the stamp set and Jodie's gonna laugh if she watches this this stamp set I bought because I love typewriter font so typewriter font is totally up my alley so I bought this stamp set I do love the apple and here's the, I was playing with it last night. Here's the punch. So it's got a coordinating punch, which is always fabulous. And, um, but I bought it for the sentiment. So this is, I haven't even done the card yet. But um, here's the little, I was doing like a watercolour background last night. I've, I've coloured my apple. I have no idea what I'm doing with this, but it's there. <laughs> I was having a play while my son was avoiding bedtime last night. But the... Sentiments are gorgeous. I love the you make me smile. Give thanks. Welcome back. Just beautiful um, Some more gorgeous um, Stamp sets. There's two individual ones and there's a bundle here um, I think I've got the bundle on, on its way actually 
Now we've got our Halloween suite. Now I'm not a Halloween person, but um, there's lots of really versatile products in this one. The stylish scroll embossing folder could be used for so much more than Halloween. The Ornit frames dies are just frames, they're not Halloween related. So you could do lots and lots of things with those. The ribbon is to die for, like I will um, hoard that like crazy and I'm hoping to carry it over and bring it out in more colors because it's just stunning. Um, and I'm using it on the card today. I sure can put it in for you, Kayla. Just send me, flick me a message. Um, the Black Stamp and Dimensionals, really, really cool. You get four sheets. So these are actually my giveaway this month. So if you order with me, you'll get a pack of these free. Um, they come with two sheets of the mini and two sheets of the big. So there's actually four sheets in a pack. Um, they are super, super cool. So they're $10.50 because you get four, not three sheets like our normal packets. Um, but they are awesome and you will see me use those today um, and we've got like a, this one's really cool it's a tag set and the die cuts out lots of the bits and pieces but they've got Halloween themed Christmas themed and Valentine's themed so lots of different um, lots of different things and some really cool ones this could be totally di not Halloween this could be little boys birthdays I know my son would love that um, really cool um, Sip Sip Hooray bundle, which has dies, which are on the opposite page. So you don't kind of click that those go together necessarily. But um, I have sisters that are like we're youngish, like I'm 20, not how old am I this year? That's terrible. 29 this year. And my sister's 32. So we're kind of like, and my younger sister's 24. So we're sort of at that age where we, we enjoy a drink. Um, so <laughs> that sounds terrible. I need to stop talking. Um, but yeah, they, those are going to be really cool cards to make for my sisters. Um, this is this coordinates with the wreath die. Um, the wreath stamp set I showed you earlier. Really, really cool. Oh, sure thing, Kayla. I'll see you in a mini. And then we've got our host set. So these ones are available when you order over 250 or more. You can spend your stamp and rewards and get these, which are actually um, cheaper. So, for example, this one here is $23, which you can buy with stamp and rewards, but it's actually valued at, let me look, 23 I feel like there's a typo in here because they've got, it's $23, but it's $20 value. So that might be a typo, but this one's right, I think. So this one's $17, but it's actually $29 value. I'll have to check on that one. I wonder if they've noticed that. Um, and this one here, this one stamp sets close to my heart. Um, Nature's Beauty, so, so stunning. But the thing I love the most about it is not just that it's gorgeous, but $4.25 every stamp set sold goes towards mental health organizations. And that's a cause very special to my heart. So I'm going to be using this a lot. And I love the card. And this is also what sold me on the Penguin stamp set because they've used the sentiment from the Penguin. So there's my reasoning. Um, so that's the holiday catalogue. Don't forget to ask me for one if you don't have one. So I'm going to put that aside. Um, so I will show you. This is the tag kit. So I had a, a really, like these are super easy to put together. There's three different designs. And um, I just sat in front of the, watch the iPad. I've been binge watching Netflix. And I put these together, so they're super easy. Um, Create these three ones, so you've been very nice. Although at the moment, for my son, it should be, you've been very naughty. Um, getting him to school this morning. He's only five, and he was already thinking of excuses to pretend to be sick to get out of school, the naughty boy. Um, and then we've got this one. And have a Merry Christmas. Aren't they pretty? It makes 30 tags. And how beautiful would they be to put on presents? I love the craft and the gold it's just stunning and you get this cute little box to store them all in you could use it for gift wrapping afterwards really really cool kit and you get the um you can do so much more with that after you finish because you get a stamp set and everything so you could use the stamp set for cards and all sorts after then i did the christmas countdown kit how cute is this and they're really sturdy craft boxes and you can fit a fair bit in there like what's something that you'll know the size of these are our, um, what do you call them, metallic paints. So you can basically, oh, not quite fit two. Oh, you can fit two like that in there. So that gives you an idea of size. So they're, they're quite reasonably sized. But this is what I want to do with my 30 days of self-care. This one should be a big sparkly one because the 20th of December is my birthday. <laughs> Just kidding. Um... So yeah, really, really sturdy box, super, super cool. My son hasn't even seen it yet because it's been hiding at the back of my desk. 
So I'm going to have to show him. Um, I'll give you... Sometimes you can't see the dyes very well in the catalogue. So this is the stars that I showed you earlier. This one goes with the cute... I had it on my desk last night. Where did I put it? The Toil Christmas. So it's got a cute cardinal and really, really pretty things. So that one's super cool. And this one goes with the mugs. As you can see, I've been using it. Reversibles. The snow globe to make the really cool snow globe. This one's part of the medley. So there's a few dies of medley. It's really reasonably priced because you get a stamp set, you get the dies, the paper, the ribbon, the embellishments and the stickers for 122 and so pretty cool, pretty good value. Here's the wreaths, which I have used yesterday. So I'll show you those. These ones are really versatile, the Christmas layers. I've used this one yesterday as well. And those awesome um, Sip Sip dies. So that's a look at the dies that, um, plus there's one more, but I'm using it today. So, um, and then we've got all the papers, but I think I won't show you those today. I'll just, I've got all, the papers sort of sitting here which I need to sort out but there's lots of gorgeous gorgeous papers we've got red glimmer paper this is the toil Christmas the snow one and this is that acetate really super super pretty and the brightly gleaming and this is the autumn paper which I also used yesterday um, so I'll put those to the side so now do you want to see what I've been making I can show you I'm going to do blog posts for all of these, but I thought I'll just, um, oh, it's better out of focus. We're back in focus, yep. Um, so I'm gonna do blog posts, but I haven't had a chance to yet. So this one's using the gingerbread house, which I borrowed from Jodie and created this little card here. So as you can see, I love the bells. So listen to that, so cute. Um, so that's the little gingerbread house I made, wishing you a happy Christmas. And then I did, um, tis the sweetest season. So I created a little bit of fun. Here's some patterned paper and um, repeatedly stamped on the background with one of the stamps. Um, so that was one card I made. And then I did the snowman. I'm not sold on this card. I was just having a play, but I put the little, um, they're like, poly, are they called polystyrene balls? I think so. But um, I made a little shaker card with some glitter in it too and added the puff paint. So we've got puff paint, which makes like, you heat it up and it makes puffy snow. So I did that just to have a little bit of a play um, and then pop some a sentiment in the middle. Now I cased this from the catalogue uh, and made this at the lovely Sue Horton's house, um, did a workshop <coughs> and I used, I got a little bit excited because I used the new metallic um, inks. So um, I do, I'm actually running a little make and take and sort of a launch of the, <coughs> oh goodness, launch of the catalogue this Saturday, Kayla. So um, that's at my house this Saturday, and then we will be releasing a class schedule. <coughs> oh my goodness, sorry. Um, very soon, because we're moving the location of our classes to the Devonport Library, I think. It's not completely set in stone, but we will be releasing that very soon. So I've used blends to color the bauble, which has got a punch and then lots of the gold glimmer. So we had a lot of fun making that one. Then, I made this one at the same workshop. We actually used some products that carried over. So these ones are in an annual catalog. Well, some of them, the wreath embossing folder is, and the Mary was from a set last year that carried over. So we have Merry Christmas. I added some of the glitter dots from this current one and the new ribbon and the new glimmer paper. And just did, I'm a little bit obsessed with crumb cake at the moment. <coughs> the color is just great and I just love it. Um, so we did that one at Sue's house as well. And then I wanted to play with the snow globes. So I made a snow globe card and look at this, isn't that fun? So it's like snowing and I used the puff paint on the trees inside the snow globe, if you can see. Hopefully there's not too much glare. And a little church and I've put Merriest Wishes from the penguin set. See, I told you I love those sentiments. And I did a triple linen thread bow and one of the bells again. But this is a stunning, um, a stunning bundle. Oh, my bow's falling off. I need to add another glue dot in there. Goodness me. I've been playing with the snow globe, shaking it too much. And then I coloured on the inside as well. Then I got a little bit happy with the elf set, um, which is super cute. I wanted some colouring therapy the other night and I did put a sneak peek of me colouring these on my page 
um, but I also used the most wonderful time medley paper and made these little elf cards and I just felt like coloring so um, I had these colored up and I thought you know what I'm just gonna whip up a card so I used those layering Christmas dies to create some oh thank you for sharing that's so lovely um, I should actually I'll, I will say if you share my video I will have a giveaway what I'm gonna give away is oh, goodness I'm dropping everything um, so share my video and in a couple of days I'll see who shared and I'll give away a packet of these beautiful Twill Tidings glitter enamel dots in red and green. So um, please do share my video. I love sharing my love of stamping up and crafting with everyone. So I love it to get wide and far. Thank you very much. Um, so I made this one and then I've stamped the inside. I've used the golden ink pad again, which I'm just loving. And I've used some of the tinsel ribbon and the gold stars from the Most Wonderful Time medley as well. And then I used the other elf in the stamp set to make a coordinating one, but in red. So I did this one as well. So I have two little cards there with elves. And then yesterday, were these all yesterday's cards? I think they were. So I made this one with the um, Grateful Autumny Suite. But I used the wreath, I embossed it in copper and then um, watercolored it and added just, just wanted to rake up because I'd been doing so many Christmas cards. So I did this one, I added some splatters and some um, washi tape, which I don't use my washi enough. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to branch out and use that. I used one of those wooden um, feathers, which I thought was fun. Now here's my little Santa obsession. I was on a bit of a kick. This one's cased from the catalogue. Um, and I added my Santa, which I coloured with blends, but I don't know how well you can tell, but I have added um, the shimmery crystal effects to um, the white bits on his... Oh, thanks, Amanda. I've got... Um, speaking of you, Amanda, I actually have... I'm going to drop everything on this desk today, honestly. I've got your Wink of Stella gift, um, which I have to send out to you. I just haven't had a chance to get to the post office. Um... So yes, I added that on there and it's super fun. And I added the brick embossing folder, which I, I lightly swiped with a white ink pad just to get that brick look really, really fun. And there's the inside. I added a bit of the um, pattern paper to bring in the front of the card. And then I could not get away from the Santa. So I did another card with the Santa and um, <coughs> I colored him the same way and added the crystal effects, but then I saw this card made with a, a, the unicorn by the lovely Erica Serwin. So I did case this card from Erica, and she had this frame and the swirly bits from the star set, and um, she had the unicorn coloured like a vintage colours. So I actually did, kind of went with that theme and did lots of crumb cake because I kind of wanted a vintagey looking card. So that one, I did a top fold card too, which I don't do often, but I just love how it turned out. And then there's another bell. <laughs> just can't get away from those bells. Now, finally, actually, before I show you this, I do have an event at my house, if you're local, this Saturday. And um, this is part of the gift that you'll receive for coming. It's only $10 to come and you get to make two make and takes and you also receive a gift. And I'm giving um, everyone... A set of these papers this is Jody and I's event that we're running so they'll get a set of you'll get a set of those papers one sheet of the copper um, glittering accents three card bases which match your DSP and you'll get a little bit of a row of these copper stars as well so it's really super fun you get to make a couple things while you're here and see in person all the things that we've been creating and have lots of fun so that's this Saturday um, if you want to um, know more about it click on the events tab on my page and you'll see it on there and all the details so here's the last card and this is the one I'm going to create with you so I made this yesterday um, and was inspired by a card in the catalogue and I just loved it because it has the cute reindeer sleigh which comes from this jolly season dies which are just stunning so we've got the sleigh here with the with the reindeers and I just wanted to make the night sky. I've also used the Halloween ribbon and once again crumb cake because I'm on a bit of a, a binge fest with that. Um, you sure can, Kayla. Um, go check out the event and just let me know that you're coming so I can make sure I have enough goodie bags. Um, so yeah, I just I do need RSVPs, so that's all. Um, but yeah, just let me know you're coming and um, check out the details. 
and then here's the inside. So let's get making. Um, what I'll do first is grab out my my dies. So I just need the sleigh with the reindeers. The reindeer, I don't think you say reindeers, I don't know. It's one of those plural confusions. You know, the English language, how it gets a bit confusing sometimes. So I'll get my big shot out. Now this is probably taking up most of the frame, I do apologize. Now I just want to take a scrap of black. Now I found that with my big shot I have better success cutting with the die, the cutting side facing up, cardstock over the top and cutting it upside down. I actually get a better die cut and it's less, um, what's the word, it's less damaging to your plates so you'll need to replace them less often. So I just ran that through twice and then look at that, it just pops out all good and I'll just like make a mess of the carpet because you know that's what vacuums are for. Now that's the only big shotting we have to do so I can put that away. So how cute is that? It's a little sleigh with the reindeer. So pretty. Just got a little fake nails are great but can I just say with crafting it's hard to poke stuff out and do little finicky bits. <coughs> <coughs> so now what we want to do is I've cut pre-cut all my pieces so you didn't have to watch me have to cut everything. So I've cut a bit of scrap, which is one inch by, um, uh, I'm one of those people that mixes inches and, cent and centimeters. So I do apologize, but it's, I've got this on the centimeter side. It is 14.3 centimeters by 2.5 centimeters. So that's our piece that we need for the season's greetings. But if you live in um, where you use Metro, so Imperial, um, I've basically just done a card base and then done a quarter, I think it's a quarter of an inch, smaller for the first layer, then done another layer and I've cut this the same width as my second layer and then just done it an inch tall. So that's the pieces that you need and I've just cut um, some for the inside too, which we'll do in a minute. Now, just, I've got a crumb cake base, basic black for my first layer. This piece is actually shimmery white, and the reason is I'm going to put a lot of ink on it, and it, the shimmer is really pretty when that's all inked up. So what we'll do is we're gonna take our shimmery white piece, which is our layer, and then we're going to take some brayers, sponge rollers, brayers, whatever you like to call them. Now, I do have an extra sponge, because I've only got two handles, but we need three sponges. Now I have used a mixture of Knight of Navy, Pacific Point, and Army Blue. So they're the three colours I'm going to use for my night sky. So we just want to open all these. If you haven't seen how to open our ink pads, it's just a simple like makeup compact type opening and then you just push and slide. They're super easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's all good. So I'm going to set those up move all those away hopefully you can see <coughs> oh I've got a cough today it just won't go away so what I'm going to do is start with my darkest color first so I'm going to set this here and then I'm going to ink up my night of navy with my brayer this is just stained red it's it's actually clean don't worry so now I roll this along and add lots of ink now, you don't want to go like this because it will actually only ink one part of the roller. So you want to roll and keep rolling like so. So add a fair bit of ink to there. Now, this will look funny at first, but don't worry. So we want to roll it along the bottom. Keep rolling. Then apply more ink to your sponge. It may seem like it takes forever, but it's worth it at the end, trust me. How weird is it that I'm live crafting? It just feels like I haven't done it in ages. But it feels nice to be crafting with you all. I need to take more time out to do it. Oh, goodness. I need to watch what I'm doing. I'll tell you. I hope you're all having a lovely week. I'm head smack bang into wedding planning because we get married in, I think, one month and three weeks now. It's coming up very soon. But don't worry, I will share video um, photos of me on my wedding day with you all. <coughs> so you just keep applying more ink. 
and keep going with your sponging until you're happy with the coverage. I like it to be pretty dark because it is a night sky and a night sky is very dark. So, so basically we're going to have our Santa sleigh flying in the night sky. Okay, that's probably enough night of navy. Now we're going to move to our Pacific point. So we're going to do the same thing and ink up our sponge roller. I actually don't use Pacific point too much. Oh, thanks Kayla. It's taken me many years to find the right man, trust me. I love my man, he's gorgeous. He's at work, I just went and had lunch with him at work. <laughs> Works at good old Bunnings. So we went to the hardware store, had some lunch. And I'm kid free, partner free today, home alone. So I thought, you know what, I'll come craft with you all. How pretty is the Pacific Point? You kind of want to, when you're doing your sponging of different colours, you want to roll into the other colour because that, it gives them a nice blend. So don't feel afraid of doing that. You don't want separated lines. You want them to nicely blend. I was good. Before I came live, I did a bit of housework so that I can't be told off. No, not that I'd get told off. He wouldn't want to. I do pretty much all the housework. But I have been off work, so probably don't have an excuse. Um, now, I'm just going to carefully take this one off so I can put the... Look at my fingers. I'm already inky. Um, just so I can put this clean roller base on. Jodie's going to laugh if she watches because I could not find my spare ones yesterday. So I ended up using a sponger because I couldn't find the spare ones. And then, do you know what, Jodie? They were in the drawer titled sponges. Laugh at me. Go on, do it. I know you're going to. <laughs> um, so now I'm using my balmy blue, which is my final color for the top. This card actually is pretty easy. It's just a matter of getting your um, sky done. It's only three colors and then it's actually minimal supplies really. And it's just that the sky gives you a really nice effect and so you don't actually need too much for the card. What I would do is I will try and photograph this one today and post it on my blog and I'll link it back to this video so that you can see all the supplies I've used if you want to order them and make this one for yourself because it's actually not too much that you need really so almost done does anyone have any plans for the exciting plans for the weekend i've got my catalog launch at my house and then what's happening i feel like something's happening on sunday and i totally forgotten what it is going for my wedding dress fitting tomorrow. So I've picked up my wedding dress, it's at my mum's, and I've got to go have it um, fitted by the dressmaker so she can add some bits and pieces. Because um, I was being real picky and wanted sleeves, and I couldn't find a dress with sleeves I liked, so I'm, I bought a dress without one and I'm gonna add them. So I've got to go have that all done tomorrow. And I'm going to get my nails redone because these are a month old. Oh, I'd love a suggestion. What, what do you think I should get on my nails? I've had peacock feathers and that last month and this month I've got like a Rococo rose and some feathers with some glitter but I need to do something different so I'm just going to put these sponge rollers aside so I don't get more inky than I am so here's our night sky now something exciting is that we're going to use the new ink so this is the silvery shimmer now I wasn't sure about this ink when I first saw it because I thought oh it's going to smudge Oh, what are you going to go see, Kayla? I want to go see um, Angel Has Fallen with Gerard Butler. So he's like my total celebrity crush. I love Gerard. So I'm going to use this little sprinkle of stars from the So Many Stars stamp, stamp set. That is new. And just mount this on an acrylic block. And then I'm going to use my silver. And just, you only need to tap it lightly, but just tap it a few times till you've got some coverage there. And I'm going to stamp this randomly along my background just to get my night sky. Now, when you're doing random stamping, you kind of want to like rotate the stamp a few times so that you get um, 
it doesn't look like it's stamped just along in a line. So I'm just going to set that aside. That's our silver stars done. So I'll just see what I mean. Nails. I can't pick anything up. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, it's now got silver stars for the night sky along the background. Now, something I thought about with this ink is how cute would it look like if it was splattered. Now, I've just got to make sure I'm picking the right. No, I've got an older aqua brush, which I've been trying to use because what I will say is using the metallic inks. Jodie, what have I done? Oh, no, I bet it's the last one. We spoke about this yesterday. It was the last one. Um, so, oh, I just lost my sleigh. There we go. Okay. So this is, oh, a dog's, a dog's purpose, I think. That one, I, it's going to be a tearjerker. Take your tissues. Um, Delicata Inca in the Silvery Shimmer. Now, this is very thick, but I'm just going to press some out onto my acrylic block. And then take my aqua brush. Now, because it's very thick, I'm just going to add a bit of water just to water that down. Now, now I've got some on the brush. I'm going to take my lid and the aqua painter and just flick it which I probably got my why am I wearing white tell me I always do this um, and then we just clean that off so it actually creates a splatter effect with silver on the background isn't it pretty so we just want to set that aside to dry for a minute it's so pretty um, now we're going to take our piece of crumb cake we had now I actually want to emboss this so as you can see here I've got seasons greetings and I've embossed that in silver so I'm going to take my embossing buddy and just rub that along so we get rid of any static now the seasons greetings is from the same stamp set so many stars and we want a block for this one now, you'll have to excuse my bursa mark. It's very dirty. I probably need to replace it. I'm going to ink this up in our versa mark. And then we're going to stamp this towards um, the right-hand side. So we'll just stamp that down. It's a bit light there, but it should be okay. Now, I've got my embossing powders stored in little containers because I find it a lot easier. Um, but it's totally up to you. They come in little um, things like this. But I store mine in containers because I like to use a spoon <coughs> and just pour it on over the top of the container. Oh, I live, I live behind a school and the school bell's going which is music, so you might be able to hear that in the background. So I've just poured that over the top. I'll just shut my container, just knowing me, I'll tip it all over the desk. Now I've got my heat gun, so I apologize for the noise. I'm just going to melt the embossing powder. I always heat from the back. I don't know why, but I find it gives me a better result. So, You can see it start to turn there and go nice and glossy. I love heat embossing. I find it so, I don't know, magical. The fact that we can turn something into this beautiful embossed greeting. So there we go. There's our little piece there. Now what we want to do is grab some ribbon. Now I'm going to use the Halloween. It's actually from the... Just totally stepped on my own toe um, it's scalloped lace trim and it's from the Halloween collection but I just love it it is stunning oh thanks Amanda that's why I should do these videos more often because I do stuff like I can share pictures of my cards but it's funny what you talk about when you make the card that you don't realize is a good tip I suppose so what I might do while I'm waiting for my night sky to just dry for a second is we'll do the inside of the card so for the inside, we could mix this one up. Hi, Tanya. You caught me live. I'm usually catching you live because I haven't been doing lives. It's, I thought I'd have a therapeutic crafting sesh and I made this card last yesterday with Jodie. So I thought, you know what, I'll make it live with you today. So I did a little night sky, which we've just made using the silver ink 
which I used the refill Tanya and then made it into splatters. It was fun. Um, so this is what I popped on the inside of the card, but we might use something different. So we've got season's greetings. I like the, may, may you enjoy this beautiful season. Maybe we'll use that. So I'm on a mission. If I buy a stamp set now, which I was naughty and bought a lot of the new catalogue, um, I am challenging myself to use it. If I buy it, it's got to be used because when the last catalogue retired, I had way too many stamp sets that I hadn't used. And I was like, Kayla, that is really naughty. So I'm on a mission. I shared, um, Tanya, I shared all the cards I've been making so you can see proof that I have been doing my card making and I have been doing the self-care. I've been crafting our way. I had a meeting with my boss this morning and I said, I'm going home to have a crafty sesh. She was like, good. <laughs> so I've put, may you enjoy this beautiful season. Now, I might actually put, what will I put, guys? I do like these little... Yes, I go back to work on Monday, Tanya. So I was like, I need to enjoy my last few days off. And, oh goodness, I've had some good mummy son time. My son's been with me pretty much all week. So he he wanted to come. He said to his dad he wanted to spend more time with mum this week because um, I don't usually have that much time off work. So it was a bit cute. He wanted to see me. So I've just inked these up in the silvery shimmer and I'm going to sort of stamp these on the corner just so we can bring in that silver to the inside of the card. Now, one thing I will say about this ink, I love it to bits, but if you are going to use it, it is very um, shimmery. So if you if you use a chamois like I do, I would almost dedicate one chamois to the ink and then you need to clean it regularly and maybe clean under it, like, I don't know, use a bit of detergent because it will transfer to your other stamps. There's a lot of shimmer, which is good because it means that we get some nice shimmery looks. But yes, it is very, very shimmery. Yes, I've watched lots of episodes of Monster Trucks and um, we watched... Oh, he lost his second tooth. So um, he wanted to watch the movie Tooth Fairy with Vin Diesel. So I've been watching Tooth Fairy a lot. And then we had a big conversation about are Tooth Fairies boys or girls or can they only be girls? So I've had lots of interesting conversations with my five-year-old this week and it was funny. We put him to bed the other night and we could hear him like rocking it out on his guitar in his room. He was supposed to be asleep, but we just kind of let it be. And then he came out of his room and came into our room and he's like, sorry, I was playing my guitar because when I get, when I grow up, I'm going to be a rock star. And it was just out of the mouths of babes. You know, when you just crack up laughing, I was I should have told him to go back to bed, but I was just beside myself laughing because it was just how he said it. It was funny. It's like, oh, Elijah, go to bed. You rock star. <laughs> oh, it, it is a cute movie. I'll tell you what, it's funny seeing Vin Diesel as a tooth fairy. So I've just stuck um, the inside in. So that's all done. Now, I reckon our night sky should be dry enough. So what we're going to do, and you're going to see me use black dimensionals in a minute. I'm so excited. Um, so I've stuck this one with just glue to the black background, the beautiful shimmery white. I love my Tombow glue. I feel like some people are more of a tape person or more of a snail person, but I'm a definitely a Tombow glue person. I'd be sad if they retired it. I don't know if I've cut my black piece um, a little bit too long. No, nope, it's all good. Okay, so I've just stuck that to the black. Now, what we want to do is we've got this beautiful ribbon from the Halloween set. And then I think I did use tape for this bit because I actually wanted to adhere it as a bit of a layer underneath my greetings. So just going to get my tear and tape and apply it to the back. Hey, Tanya, I'm wearing white which was a great idea when I'm splattering stuff everywhere, isn't it? I'm too scared to look in the mirror after this video. Okay, so I'm just going to lay my ribbon. I actually don't know how I'm going to survive at my wedding wearing an ivory dress for that long because me and light colours never end well. 
um, Elijah has seen my wedding dress and at the dinner table last night, he said to Declan, he goes, do you, I can tell you what mummy's wedding dress looks like. And he goes, it's white. And Declan had a laugh. <laughs> okay, so I've just stuck that to the edge. And then I'm just going to trim the edges of my ribbon. It shouldn't fray because it's got enough tear and tape to hold it down. It should be fine. Okay, I'm just checking with myself how I adhered that. Okay, so I'm going to add some more tear and tape. Now we really want this to stick, so I might add another two strips of tear and tape. Yes, I'm terrible with white. Like, oh, I'm terrified. I think I might just not eat on the wedding day because <laughs> I just don't want to get anything on it. Wouldn't that be terrible? I'm assuming you put you. I don't know anything about weddings. I'm about to get married and I don't know anything about weddings. Like, I'm assuming you put your wedding dress on literally just before you leave to the wedding. I hope so. So now I'm just going to stick this towards the bottom of the card. Stick that down. Now, we're down to our final bit. What we might do is adhere this to the... <laughs> yeah, champagne, definitely. Imagine having red wine. Oh, good thing I don't really like red wine. Okay, these are the black Stampin' Dimensionals. And oh lordy, I need these. I need like 100 packets of them. But you'll see, this this one's a simple reason why. Um, because, but you'll see why on the Santa Slay in a second. So I'm reading com I have trouble reading comments and talking at the same time. Um, do you, I think we're, we're having our photos after the ceremony. So we've set aside two hours for the photographer after the ceremony. And then I think, oh, she takes photos of the ceremony and then after the ceremony and then she's coming to the first bit of the reception. Do you know the photographer is the most expensive bit of the wedding? Like, it's, I think our photographer's two and a half. Oh, actually, it's not. The food is. But, um, yeah, it's very expensive. No. It's cool. I like talking while I'm crafting. It's nice. And I feel like I'm not talking to myself. So feel free to comment. Okay, so I've stuck that up on the black stamp and dimensionals. Now, if you'd used white, if you had this card on its side, you would be able to see um, a bit of the white dimensional, but you can't because they're black. You're getting a... Do you mean a divorce, Kayla? Oh, no. Oh, that's sad. I hope you're okay. I've been um, almost married, so I haven't been married before, but I have been engaged before. Right, so these, um, this black Santa sleigh, we are going to use black dimensionals and we're going to use the minis. Now, um, this was, I actually went to put mini dimensionals in the white on there and then I thought, what am I doing? I've got black dimensionals and we're putting this on black. So I quickly took them off and put my black dimensionals on. I thought, oh, I, I'm just not used to having the black um, available to me, I suppose. But this, when I actually used it, I thought, oh, I can now see why people are so excited about these being available because they are super handy. So I cannot peel off the back of um, dimensional backings now with my nails. I need to learn to get better at it. But going to have my nails done tomorrow as my little bit of a self-care activity tomorrow so i've had i've had pretty peacock i've had rococo rose oh i could go through all the in colors and have my nails each of the colors couldn't i <coughs> oh goodness i've got a bit of a cough today okie dokie hi margaret how are you so then i've got the black dimensionals on the back if you can see see how super subtle that is like you can't tell at all now I've popped the sleigh on the crumb cake piece and then had the reindeer flying um, up into the sky so I've just popped them like that see how cool that is with the black I'm just I'm gonna rave about these black dimensionals honestly then what I did next was take the snowflake sequins because there's some little silver circle sequins in here now I'm just going to add them to a few places so I'm going to add dots of the um, Tombow glue 
And then using the other end of my take your pick, I just need some more of the gummy stuff. So just twist that a little bit. Hope I don't get my head in the shot. So I'm just going to pick up the silver circle sequins and just place those on top of where I've placed the glue. Oh, this take your pick tool is such a handy thing to have. So if you don't have one, I definitely recommend it because I live, I, mine is my best friend, honestly. Um, I'm gonna make sure, because I've got splatters, I'm trying to not confuse splat, splat, splatters with glue. Um, so yeah, I've added that. I did add on this one um, some little rhinestones as well, which are actually not from a Christmas collection. They're actually from the Noble Peacock rhinestones. So I will add, because I love them, um, I will add those on again. Can you tell I really like, I'm a blue and green person because um, the pink and purples are what's left. I do love pink and purple, but um, I'm definitely a blue and green person. So there, I've added our rhinestones. Now I'm gonna close the lid on these sequins because I can see that being a disaster. Now I'm going to take the linen thread and what I wanna do is just tie a simple little bow Linen thread um, is really forgiving for tying bows. I probably shouldn't jinx myself, but um, it's really super easy to sort of fix them up after you've got it into a bow and get it into the shape that you want it. So there we go. Now, what I did was applied a glue dot behind my, I don't have my glue dots out. So I grabbed a glue dot and just stuck my bow down. And now to finish it off, I'm going to use another thing not out of the Christmas catalogue, which is these designer elements, because I wanted to bring some more silver in. So I've got one of the silver ones. Hi, Julianne. You've, you've got me almost at the end of my video. You'll have to watch back. Are you coming on Saturday, Julianne? So now I'm going to... Just add another glue dot because I don't want that going anywhere. So would you look at that? I've just done, replicated the card so you can see. So I did the night sky and used that beautiful new silver ink, which I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with all the colors, the gold, the copper and the silver. And I created a night sky with reindeer. So we've got two different ones because they're, they've got a slightly different inside. But it's a super fun card and it's actually pretty easy to make. So um, I'll have to write a blog post hopefully today and share exactly the products that I've used. Um, so if you want to order them for yourself to create this card at home, um, you can just pop on, check out my blog. And at the bottom of all my blog posts, I link exactly what products I use, which link back to my store. Um, so it's a super easy way to know exactly what what to get if you want to recreate these at home. Don't forget that if you spend over 50 and use the host code, you'll get um, a pack of these awesome black dimensionals which I raved on about for free. Plus you'll get a handmade card from me. So um, last month I had the Wink and Stella pens for free with every $50 order, but this month it's the Stampin' Dimensionals. So um, yeah, don't forget about that. And I will <laughs> work on getting all these Christmas cards I've been making um, at on my blog. I'm doing that thing where I'm reading comments again and <laughs> trying to talk. I'm terrible. So um, I think that was all I had to show you today. So I showed you all I've been making, made a card with you and and um, shared my excitement of the new catalogue. So don't forget to check out the catalogue and remember that you can order from it now, which is so exciting. Um, I wasn't, I haven't fully decided, Julianne. So um, I'm not sure. Um, what do you want to do? <laughs> I know we're doing a tag with the perfectly plaid, so we're doing that. It's one of the one of the things we're doing. Um, but Julianne, here's a sneak peek. This is part of the gift that people are getting that come on Saturday, and it's only ten dollars to come, and you get a gift with all the papers. You get some of these stars, not the whole pack, but um, some card bases and all sorts of bits and pieces. So it's going to be super fun. We'll have some laughs and just enjoy our company before I go back to work Monday. So, so please, if you're local, do come to my launch on. Saturday, I just need to know you're coming, so I make sure I have enough. And don't forget, even if I'm not live, share the video, and in a couple of days, I'll draw a winner of these um, glitter enamel dots. 
So thanks guys and I will catch you next time and I promise it won't be as long between live videos. Okay guys, bye.